What's up everyone and welcome back for the Syracuse Dynasty and NCAA Football 14 and today Louisville visits the Dome as Syracuse hosts the Louisville Cardinals. The underachieving Louisville Cardinals as they are only 3-3 three and three on the season despite a great year out of sophomore quarterback Lamar Jackson. Here are currently the Atlantic Coast Conference Atlantic Division standings as we are in 4th place with a 2-2 two two record. We actually passed Notre Dame who beat us early on in the year but we don't really have a shot of winning the division or winning the conference in any way shape or form as we are way too far behind Florida State and Clemson who lost last week so that shakes up the top a little bit and Florida State's actually number one right now but here we go getting into Syracuse Louisville action as Jordan Frederick starts out the game with a 17 yard run and this game was pretty slow now we're already in the second quarter and the game is still scoreless a nice outside pass to Amba at a towel on the cut out route and now it is going to be fourth down and eight and Syracuse going for it in no man's land and they are going to go to Josh Paris wide open gets down to the red zone now second down and seven four left in the half now Dungy dropping back and going right side to Amba Adetawo and he is going to pick up 11 right there not a very big passing game today as you can see Adetawo averaging under 10 yards a catch but making plays when we need to and now Dungy is going to keep it on the read option and he scores right there it seems like that's his 15th red zone touchdown this year but that is going to be good for seven it doesn't matter how you score it's just that you score and now third down and seven Syr Syracuse actually defends the run right there I should say as Louisville is going to run it on third down for some reason and they are gonna have to punt it away they did not pick up the first down right there no I'm at a towel back returning he did a great job a couple weeks ago so we left him in the roll and he gets out past midfield and so he is getting a pretty good return out of there about a 20 yard return and now running play action once or read option once again excuse me Eric Dungy's going to keep that one again and he slides down after picking up a first down and so Syracuse is working their way down the field now first down and 10 for Fredericks great block and that is going to be a 10 yard run the offensive line playing really well so far in this game good run blocking haven't really made a lot of mistakes in pass protection now Dungy rolling out and he is going to be tackled by the shoelaces could have almost hit the edge if he was just a little bit faster but Syracuse is going to tack on a field goal now Syracuse with the ball again this one's off the hands of Paris and Hearns is going to pick that one off and he is running down the field and if it was not for Jordan Fredericks that would have been a pick six right there off the hands of Josh Paris Louisville has the ball back past midfield and that is going to be a first down and plenty more two staples right there and now first down and 10 Lamar dropping back almost sacked but he gets it out to staples once again and that is going to be a first down and goal situation now here in the second half as Louisville is trying to score for the first time all day and this is going to be a screen pass to Brandon Radcliffe cuts back and he is going to be stopped before being able to score as that was a fourth and or third and goal situation and he cut and now Louisville was forced to settle for a field goal so let's see if Syracuse can respond they're getting to work early now as it's another first down run for Jordan Fredericks great day for him out of the backfield I haven't seen a lot of Dante Strickland just because Fredericks has been playing so well now Dungy rolling out and completes that pass to Cornelius no idea how that happened but he is going to complete that one now third down and 14 Need a big play right here. Dungy hit as he throws, but gets it off to Amba Adetawo, and that was just an impressive play all around. Adetawo to get open and c convert on a play like that, and Dungy to complete that throw despite getting decked right in the face. And he actually got shaken up on that play, but he'd be back right away. And that's going to be Jordan Fredericks picking up the first down there on the second down and five. And now Dungy now leading the offense on third down and two. He is going to drop back and go left side to Josh Paris redeeming himself a little bit with that first down pickup right there still not quite that was a kind of stupid play earlier but now first down and goal and this is going to be Fredericks cuts right side and he has open field and he is going to score a touchdown and that is going to be a 17 to 3 lead for Syracuse after the extra point we'll see if Louisville can respond here as they are getting desperate now with very little time remaining in the game they need two scores and they can't let Syracuse score again or this game is over it is 17 to 3 right now and Brandon Radcliffe is going to be stopped on third down and Louisville is going to have to go for it fourth down and two zone look for Syracuse Radcliffe shoves a defender down and they're going to give him the first down a very close call right there but he gets that one Syracuse would not challenge second down and eight now 
and this is going to be going too quick and he works his way past midfield and Louisville getting their first really good drive of the game it seems like although they were definitely helped out by that uh, third down conversion or fourth down conversion excuse me nice pickup right there as well and now second down and one Radcliffe going left side has plenty of room and the Syracuse defense is definitely not playing the way they were for the rest of this game at this point very gassed it seems like and now Lamar Jackson running out of the pocket Whitner is going to prevent him from picking up a first down but it's third down and one Syracuse showing blitz right here and they send everybody and that one is still caught no it's not he dropped it fourth down and one now and Syracuse going back to the blitz once again Scott shoving off a defender and he keeps this game alive for Louisville, although there's very little time left for them to score as they still need the ball back and to score a touchdown once again if they score on this drive. And now Lamar Jackson dropping back, going right side in a tough grab in traffic right there. But that makes it a 17-10 game, and now Syracuse is going into clock-killing mode. If they can pick up a couple first downs here, they'll be good to go and win this game. And that's Steve Ishmael picking up a first down right there. But they're still going to need another one as Louisville has two timeouts. The burn still in Jordan Fredericks. Why wouldn't he have a great carry right here? Picks up another first down. And now Syracuse will be able to kill the clock almost completely with another play if they choose to run one right here. And now Umba Enetawo picks up almost the first down. That's going to be third down in inches. And again, why not go back to Jordan Fredericks as he picks up the first down. And that's going to do it. Syracuse clinches bowl eligibility as well as a win over their ACC rival, the Louisville Cardinals. 117 yards on the ground for Jordan Fredericks. Like I said earlier, played excellent today. That's almost six yards a carry right there. Definitely, definitely over five. And you didn't see a whole lot of Dante Strickland. Also ran a lot less, well, maybe not a lot less, but a little bit less option this week. And Eric Dungey, he did throw three picks, but really only one of them was his fault. The other pick was, one of the picks was he got jumped on a route. The one pick you saw was off the hands of Josh Paris. And the other was he was getting sacked as he was throwing the ball. And it went like straight up in the air. And a defensive end just happened to be in like a great position to pick it off. But otherwise, I thought it was a great day for Syracuse. Offensively, probably could have played a little bit better if not for all those turnovers. The defense definitely played really well. Uh, a lot of those sacks are just from quarterback runs that were stopped early. But still we got an interception at one point in this game and I, I definitely thought we limited Lamar Jackson I think that he could have played much better he still had like 64 percent completion percentage but he was not moving the ball down the field as you can see 17 attempts and only 72 yards the first really great game we've had against the run game as well and it was just a really balanced defensive effort and if not for a couple of weird plays on offense I don't even know if Louisville would have been able to score this game because they did not particularly play very well. And with a loss, Louisville moves to 3-4. and four. Definitely not the season that they expected to have. And Syracuse overachieving 6-2 and two on the season with that win. And they are now bowl eligible for the first time in several seasons. As they last played, I believe, in the pinstripe bowl against West Virginia. And that would be 2000. 13 at this point i'm pretty sure 2012 2013 where ryan nassib was still the quarterback and with a win syracuse is actually getting votes for the top 25 as you can see they are one of the teams that is right on the bubble fourth most votes among teams that are not in the top 25 currently so we'll see if strong finish to the season can get them their first ranking in several years and here's a quick recruiting update as i'm not going to show the whole board as not much has really changed since last week but matt montgomery the athlete who will most likely play wide receiver for us has committed to the team and so that is a big big signing right there as he was one of the best recruits in the country but that is going to do it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more Syracuse Dynasty next time when we will be taking on the 2-6 Wake Forest Demon Deacons. That's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.